to the Startup Funding Espresso. I'm Hall T. Martin, where we talk about how to raise funding and invest in startups and the time it takes to drink an espresso. If you have a question about startup funding or investing, please go to the website, startupfundingespresso.com, and type in your question into the chat bot in the lower right corner to receive an answer. I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, this is Hall T. Martin with the Startup Funding Espresso, your daily shot at startup funding and investing. A prototype is an early model of your technology to show proof of concept and gather feedback from potential customers. Prototypes can also be used to raise funding from investors. For building a prototype, keep these key issues in mind. The current market for your product, how do customers currently solve the problem, specific needs of the customer, what are the requirements of a solution, usability, how will the customer interface and interact with the product, competition, what current solutions are available and how are you better, faster, and cheaper, market position, what position in the market do you want to take, Here are some key steps in building your prototype. Ideate on a potential solution. Create a drawing showing how it will look. Develop a mock-up showing what it might look like in physical form, such as a box or a layout of a screen showing the functionality. Create an actual prototype that provides limited functionality. Test the prototype to understand performance. And refine and enhance the prototype incrementally. Prototypes can be useful in writing patent applications, giving investors the image of what can be built, and showing customers how it may solve their problem. Thank you for joining us for the Startup Funding Espresso, where we help startups and investors connect for funding. Let's go start us into today. Paul T. Martin is the director of Investor Connect, which is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the education of investors for early stage funding. All opinions expressed by Hall and podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinion of Investor Connect. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon as a basis for investment decisions. 